Association. Uh, I would like to welcome all the friends of the deceased here today. Uh, I know most of you knew our fiend, the housing crisis. I'm here to tell you today where you are going to put the housing crisis to rest. And uh, may he rest in peace. And I'd like to uh, welcome some of uh, our dignitaries here today. Well, some of them here are going to be presenters, so you'll hear about a few of them later on. But uh, I believe we have, well, we have a lot of our friends from the Akron Area Board of Realtors, including, I believe, uh, Cindy Kane, the president this year. Cindy. And is uh, Allie here? Yeah. She'll be the president next year, uh, 2012. Uh, <coughs> okay, and uh, I believe the rest will be introduced. Okay, so I'd like to introduce our president, Richard Bancroft. Thank you very much. Thank you all for being here today. Uh, as I was standing here listening to the buzz in the room, uh, you can make no mistake about the excitement. Uh, that we have to actually celebrate a very momentous occasion for the region, uh, for the township, and for our industry. Uh, today we mark the groundbreaking of what will become the Greater Akron Housing Center. It will house the Home Builders Association serving Portage and Summit County and the Akron Area Board of Realtors. But you cannot start a new chapter without closing an old chapter. You cannot mark a new beginning without marking a passing. For six and a half years, our industry has labored through the worst housing crisis that I hope that we see in our lifetime. We are starting to see signs that this housing crisis is beginning to change. If you look at the, the Beacon Journal this morning and the Plain Dealer, both quoted some statistics about increased sales, some signs of stability, the third quarter of 2011 marked the first quarter since the second quarter of 2010 where we had had an increase in home sales. We've had four consecutive months where year over year we've had an increase in sales. And in six out of the past 10 months this year, we've had an increase in sales monthly. While pricing is still depressed, we are confident, we are awaiting the day that we can actually say that the crisis is over. But going forward, I can say as I speak on behalf of the Homeowners Association, we are not going to participate in the negative press. We are going to be positive going forward. Our association has had a tremendous year. We have been very, very successful. The Akron Area Board of Realtors is another association that is celebrating, I believe, 100 years. That is a testament to our commitment and dedication to our industry, to bringing home what is an American dream, the dream of home ownership. If you look at a recent survey that the National Association of Home Builders concluded, 95% of those who have purchased a home are satisfied with their decision. Home ownership creates stability, pride, a sense of accomplishment, and economic growth. 2,100 jobs are created for every 1,000 new homes that are built. I thank you all for being here today. I want to thank this distinguished panel who is here to share this uh, glorious moment with us today. I'd like to introduce first County Executive Russ Pry. Executive Pry has been a has been a very good friend of our industry. Uh, his leadership style is one of the inclusion, and not exclusion. Either he or someone in his staff, whenever there is an issue that affects our industry, he reaches out to us for our input. I welcome that. I thank him for that. And without any further ado, County Executive Prime.
thanks, Richard. And thanks for letting me go ahead of Don today. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the last word. Yeah, I know that's always a problem. If he gets the last word, it'll even be worse. But uh, I'm, I'm joined here today with our, our Summit County Council member, uh, Sandra Kurt, uh, who is also very active uh, with our government and trying to make a difference in this housing market. Uh, I'm excited to be here today because you know, we talk about collaboration, Don and I do all the time, and what makes sense. And I can't think of a better collaboration than what you're doing here today with the Home Builders Association and the Akron Area Board of Realtors. I think it's a natural fit. I think you're going to do great things as you go into your second hundred years here in our community. And I think the idea of putting an end to the housing crisis and bearing it today was a great idea. I think we need to be positive. We need to go out and start talking about all the great things we're doing here in the community, how we're working together, and why this is the greatest place to come, work, live, and play. And being a homeowner is a part of that equation. So uh, congratulations. Uh, I look forward to working with all of you in the future. You know if you have any issues. Uh, my director of community and economic development, Connie Krause, is here. The Summit County Building Department is under her department. And so if you have issues, please call us. We're here to help, and we're here to facilitate to try and make sure that the goal of home ownership is achieved here. So thank you very much. I'd like to welcome Senator Frank LaRose. Thank you for being here this morning. Glad to be here. Uh, this gentleman to my left is State Representative Lynn Slady. Uh, he represents the 41st District in the Ohio House. To say that he's a friend of our industry is an understatement. Uh, for years, we have been struggling to get meaningful reform to the Consumer Sales Practices Act. House Bill 275 was recently introduced, and while uh, Representative Slady in his modesty will say we haven't gotten it passed yet, the fact that he has taken the leadership role to introduce this legislation is huge for our organization, it's huge for our industry, and I, on behalf of the Homeowners Association, cannot thank him enough for his leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, Representative Slady. Thank you very much. Uh, what an exciting time this is. Uh, I certainly appreciate the opportunity to be here on behalf of the House of Representatives uh, in this great event uh, that you're having. Uh, not too many people know this, but I'm not really sure why I was invited, whether it was because I'm state representative or whether it was because of my, one of my previous professions. I am a licensed fuel director. In <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put this person to rest, uh, and I might officiate over both. I think that it's an exciting time, not only because of the opportunities that the home builders and realtors have to join together to have a positive outlook on our community in the future. But I have a quick story. You know, there used, there's a story where two individuals who hadn't seen each other for a while came across each other. And the gentleman walked up to the lady and he said, how are you? And he inquired and had some small talk and said, well, by the way, how is your husband? And she says, well, he's a little ill. And he said, oh, that's too bad, but I, I'm sure he just thinks he's ill. He's not ill. Well, to make a long story short, several different times had passed and each time he asked about the husband. And each time the lady says, well, let's get him a little bit more seriously ill, and he keeps saying, no, it's not that he's ill, he just thinks he's ill, and he thinks he's getting more seriously ill. So finally one day they're walking down the street, they see each other, and he asks again, how's your husband doing? Well, she says, well, he thinks he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the, the point of that is, if we think things are bad, they're probably going to get bad. But if we're optimistic about the future, which we are here today, that things are going to be better, things are better and going to get better, with the cooperation and the collaboration of the home builders and the realtors, things are better and going to get much, much better. But it's only because we're all here today to work together in the collaboration to make things better optimistically and look for the benefit of the future, not only for us here today, but for the entire community of the state of Ohio and for my, for my specific purpose, for my children and my grandchildren. And thank you very much for having me. Uh, last but not least, we have Mayor Donald Pasquale. In the time that I have been associated with the uh, Homeless <coughs> Association, I've gotten to know Mayor Pasquale. 
Uh, he's an innovator. And he's got a tremendously creative drive and spirit. Uh, what he's done for Akron uh, has been well documented. Uh, and I could not be more proud to call him a friend of mine and of our association and our industry. Mayor Pasquale. Let me start by saying that when I had a building department, I used to speak first before us. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> you need to be friends with Russ a lot more than you need to be friends with Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Good move. <laughs> I did notice that he said we have any problems called content. <laughs> but I want to sort of continue the theme that, uh, that Lynn uh, referenced in the uh, and Carmine mentioned, and that is, this is really sort of a eulogy in a way. And I can tell you, as mayor or as an individual, one of the hardest things I have ever had to do is give a eulogy for friends, cabinet members who have passed, and it's a very difficult time. But in this case, we ought to be all toasting and having champagne as of giving this eulogy as we put the later rest of the housing crisis. It reminds me of a story from an old comedian, Moms Mabley. And none of you have to act like you are old enough to remember, but she was an old, old comedian. And she said, you know, my mom had told me that you should never say anything bad about somebody who's deceased. So for certain people, I just say, good, he dead. <laughs> <laughs> and you will use that a few times. I have, I have said it three times just in this last year. <laughs> But I think it's a great symbol, in a way, uh, for this whole mindset that we have in this economic downturn that every day there's news coming out that we really don't want to hear or we think uh, is going to make things worse, so we tighten it up more and more. And, and I think the announcement here to combine these two organizations and work together is a tremendous uh, value in the long term and makes sense and we'll only be able to help uh, this community prosper by getting us back on track with the housing market, whether it's constructing or reconstructing and remodeling. And I'd like to thank uh, Richard Bancroft, President, and Steve Miller, the Vice President, and certainly Carmine Torrio that I've worked with for so many years, uh, the, the Executive Director of the Home Builders Association, and Cindy Kane, and Allie Whitley, uh, the Vice the President-elect of the Akron Board of Realtors. I really want to thank them for their recommitment to this community, for the faith that they have in this community by creating this new Greater Akron Housing Center. And it's, it's an important part of, I think, what we do better than anyone, which is to collaborate, work together for the betterment of the community. And I would argue that the Home Builders Association in particular has been in that mode for many, many years. Uh, this uh, project uh, will provide opportunities for people in a one-stop shop to come here if they're looking at building, remodeling, or, or doing anything about housing. And it's a great opportunity to have a resource available to our citizens. Um, I, I also, when we talked about having this, said I thought it was important for us to have a number of announcements that might uh, be consistent with the theme here today. That let's quit thinking about this horrible person that we're burying in this situation, and let's go forward. And as a result, I uh, want to announce a new housing development that will be going up in Akron in a, in a neighborhood uh, that many of you may know as the Castle Homes. There is a school that has been out of commission because there just aren't as many kids in that area as there were in the 50s. And Gunther Grade School, elementary school, that served its purpose in the day has been abandoned basically because they don't need it with a new Sam Salem school being built where it has gone up to replace that. Um, we will talk, we will start this spring to uh, develop new single family homes on about nine acres right on Carnegie Avenue uh, at Shoreline Drive. It's uh, part of a new project that we've done in various places but we will be able to raise the Gunther School Building and add at least 19 single family homes, measuring about 1,400 square feet. Um, each newly constructed home will have a basement, two car garage, and brick 
for masonry features, and we'll be using some of the energy efficient uh, appliances. And uh, these homes will, I think, provide a recommitment on our part for bringing back uh, the housing market. And we know that in Akron, we can sell new homes just about as fast as we can put them up, but there is a demand. And part of that is on the basis of what we've experienced with working with home builders in the past. And uh, I know in this case, the Home Builders Association will be selling, uh, will be building custom built uh, homes and our Akron Planning Department, John Moore, who really has pushed this uh, issue on this site, will be uh, reviewing all the plans to make sure they're compatible. The target market is for moderate income households. The homes will range anywhere from about 110 to $130,000. And the city will continue to do these kind of projects, especially when we have a great partner like uh, the Home Builders Association. And one of these homes, will be built by the Education in Action. That's a program that, quite frankly, was started. Mr. Ayers, I know, was involved for a number of years, Carmine. When the housing market was exploding and you couldn't get enough workers, the thought was to reach out and get young people who were interested in making something with their hands who weren't so good at sitting and, and uh, memorizing things in the classroom. And the program has worked out very, very well since 1997 produced at least uh, one home every year, in some cases several homes. The experts in the building trades that are here, uh, along with a group of students, will do everything from drywall to electrical work and plumbing on the house, and for us as people, we'll inspect it to make sure it's right. <laughs> <laughs> the, best, uh, the best part of this, believe it or not, is not the house. It's what it does for these young people, to bring them alive, to see that they can actually <coughs> accomplish something with a hammer or with a screwdriver and it really has been a success in that regard and so I thank all of you who made this uh, day possible and, and best wishes to all of you and all I can say is good he did. <laughs>
proceedings, um, as is traditional, uh, we have lunch. Uh, hopefully you can remain with us uh, for the next half hour or so. Uh, <coughs> lunch is courtesy of Great Lakes Publishing and uh, Vaquero Stratoria, which is right up the street. Thank you all. This is truly an exciting time for both of our associations. And going forward, we plan to keep the news very, very positive. We plan to advance the cause of housing at every, at every step of the way. Thank you again.